Do you think you have what it takes to be a model? What is stressful to one person isn't always stressful to another. They don't have to concern themselves with the day-to-day -day work of the company they're actually consulting for. Let's look at the top low stress jobs that you can apply to right now. Now, hey, and welcome back. We spent the last few weeks discussing recent news relevant to recruiting. The ongoing effects of the great resignation, the controversy surrounding the long-term effectiveness of remote work, mass layoffs, and even offer retractions from major tech companies, rising inflation, and a potential looming recession are just a handful of the issues affecting the labor economy and indeed the entire US. My most recent videos cover those events in detail and how they're impacting both job hunters and recruiters alike. I also gave some helpful tips for navigating these stressful times. So if you're looking for a job or you're worried about the safety of your current job, should a recession hit, I highly recommend going back to those videos and checking them out. But today, we're going to switch gears a little bit, cover a fun, casual topic, one that's still relevant to today's current events, but that carries a little bit less of a weight. In contrast to my most recent videos, which covered specialized jobs in the tech industry, today's video will explore general entry-level jobs for workers of all levels of experience, but in particular, we'll be covering roles for workers without a degree. Let's look at the top low-stress jobs that you can apply to right now. Now, but before we get started, as always, please consider like, subscribe, click that bell, really, really means a lot. So like I mentioned, and I've made clear in my previous videos, the future of the US economy is currently unclear and things are honestly a bit hectic right now. While some industries that suffered during the pandemic are experiencing a comeback, the tech industry is actually faltering a little bit. Increased technology use during the pandemic triggered unprecedented growth, even in the newest tech startups who have been forced to cut back their hiring plans and even lay off employees as a result of the pandemic coming to a close. But while the tech industry is certainly lucrative and rewarding, it's also one of the most competitive and therefore stressful. Especially coming out of the pandemic, some people are more interested in simple, low-key jobs that are consistent and pay well. Perhaps not as much as a job at the hot new startup, but surely jobs like these make up that in-job security. But additionally, a few of the roles we'll cover today don't require a formal education, so anyone can apply, not just those with degrees. But before we get started, let me first review what does low stress actually mean and how we might go about quantifying that. So what does low stress mean? Is there such a thing as a truly stress-free job? Probably not. But the truth is it will vary greatly depending on the person. What is stressful to one person isn't always stressful to another. But in a lot of ways, the amount of stress that a job brings is completely dependent on the person, not the job. Someone who loves landscaping, for example, can likely work quickly and for an extended period of time, experiencing little to no stress. Someone who hates it may get stressed just at the thought of landscaping. But if we take a step back and look at the role from a broader perspective, we can start to quantify data points that are actually universal across all roles. So in my research for this video, I found a couple of sources that mentioned the Department of Labor's ONET online occupational database. This is a database of information that has been collected on over 900 occupations that job seekers and recruiters can use to find tangible data about a role's typical requirements and expectations, among other things. One of the data points measures a role's stress tolerance, which is how often someone working in the position is subject to criticism and intense situations. A job stress tolerance can range from 0 to 100, with the lower scores indicating less stressful work environments and a lower reliance on criticism. So, I use this OSTAR.net online occupational database to really sort out jobs by their stress tolerance. So here are the results that I found, along with a little bit of information about each role. I've ranked the following jobs from highest stress tolerance to lowest, and there are roles from a variety of fields. So if you're looking for a consistent, low stress environment to work in, consider looking for and applying to the following roles. Low stress jobs, security guards, or protection services. Starting off at the top of our list with a listed stress tolerance of 61 are security guards. This might come as a bit of a surprise considering that security guards are sometimes responsible for the safety and protection of valuable property. Certainly, security guards at especially busy or important locations will be dealing with stress on a daily basis. However, these aren't the only types of properties that require security guards. Quiet, remote locations employ security personnel to perform less intense jobs like lock locking down doors and windows, monitoring employees, visitors, inspect and report on equipment, and even basic organizational tasks like answering calls and taking messages. Especially if you're working the night shift, a job as a security guard at a small 
uncrowded location can afford you a lot in a downtime in between your responsibilities. Operations Research Analysts With a daunting name like Operations Research Analysts, you wouldn't expect the stress tolerance score of 61, but that's just what the OSTARnet reports. Operations Research Analysts are essentially professionals who are hired by organizations to analyze, report on, and improve their business operations. They observe a company's typical operations and apply high-level maintenance and strategic planning to improve the efficiency and cost-effectiveness of the organization's business plan. Since these analysts are only responsible for observation and high-level improvement, they don't have to concern themselves with the day-to-day -day work of the company they're actually consulting for, decreasing the stress they're exposed to compared to a typical employee. Janitors and Cleaners While it isn't the most glamorous job out there, there's no denying that janitors work a relatively stress-free job with a stress tolerance of 61. Janitors and cleaners at busy, high population locations may find themselves rushed or even spread thin, but this is another role where the location will make a big difference in how stressful the job actually is. Nighttime cleaners and janitors at smaller, less busy organizations are less pressured for time and have a smaller area to worry about cleaning. Organizations with larger janitorial teams will also reduce the amount of stress any single staff member is subject to. Farm Labor Contractors Farm labor contractors are independent recruiters who help agricultural organizations find seasonal or temporary workers to assist with daily operations. Some farm labor contractors may also be responsible for transportation, room, and board for these employees. At a stress tolerance of 60, this is another higher level position that avoids much of the stress of a typical agricultural role, especially since these contractors are typically independent or freelance. So if you're more interested in the physical side of agriculture, let's move on to agricultural equipment operators. Technology is easier to operate and maintain than ever before, and the agricultural industry seems some of the most advanced machinery available. These tools require very little training and are fairly easy and stress-free to operate, resulting in a reported stress tolerance of 60. Larger agricultural plants may find their employees subject to more stress but it will of course depend on the size and scope of the operation. Laundry and dry cleaning workers. Employees at laundry and dry cleaning services are responsible for cleaning and drying customers' garments, maintaining the washers and dryers, sorting out and folding clothes, and generally tending to customers' needs. With a slightly lower stress tolerance of 59, the typical low stakes environment of a laundromat or dry cleaners offer few opportunities for making mistakes, making it significantly less stressful than the previously mentioned roles. Search marketing strategist. Search marketing strategists are responsible for a brand's visibility on various internet search engines. They perform in-depth research and come up with a content strategy in order to improve the search engine optimization, aka SEO, of a company's website. Sometimes this even involves producing text-based and audiovisual media for users to browse. Search marketing strategists, they work independently or on a small team and are typically very separate from the rest of an organization's more direct role. These lower stakes result in a stress tolerance of 58. Environmental science and protection technicians. These scientists monitor and report on the state of the environment in any given location. They are responsible for taking samples of and observing plants and wildlife to check for any pollution that could affect the health of the area itself and the surrounding population. This is certainly an important responsibility, but it isn't always a fast-paced job. As a result, OSTARnet lists the role stress tolerance as 58. Craft artists. Craft artists promote display and sell their artwork. They include artists from a variety of disciplines, including ceramic or woodworking, welding, weaving, pottery, glass blowing, and even more. Some even provide the work for use as props for TV and movie sets. It can be incredibly difficult to establish yourself as a craft artist in order to make a living. However, craft artists experience a high degree of flexibility in their work schedule, so to say nothing of doing something you love for a living. OSTAR.net reports craft artist stress tolerance at 58. Fishing and hunting workers. Workers in this industry include commercial fishermen, deckhands, hunters, trappers, wildlife control specialists, and more. Spending much of your time outside has many benefits, including reported stress tolerance of 57. But this is another role that will vary depending on your choice of location for organization. For example, a deep sea commercial fishing vessel will probably be more stressful than a small town wildlife control expert. Consider this if you're looking for a position in the hunting and fishing industry. Computer numerically controlled tool programmers. These workers are responsible for the setup, 
operation, and maintenance of automatic manufacturing equipment. Some may actually design, program, and build the machinery itself, while others may be responsible for its operation once it has been set up at a manufacturing plant. An important job for sure, but OSTAR.net lists the roll stress tolerance at 53. Why so low? probably because the machine operates mostly auto automatically unless manual maintenance is needed. These workers are much more focused on the high level operational management. Archivists. Archivists are responsible for gathering and maintaining important collections. Sometimes these collections take the form of key town records or documents. Other times they're historically important films, books, or other pieces of media. Some archivists also curate and promote stationary or traveling museums. The job is generally low stakes with a slower paced working environment, resulting in a stress tolerance of 53. Environmental economists. Environmental economists, they study the effective utilization of the natural environment for humans. For instance, they are responsible for collecting and analyzing data on the environmental impact of human action, and then coming up with reliable, sustainable plans to continue to utilize natural resources with minimal negative effects on our planet. Not to minimize the importance of maintaining our environment to ensure the longevity of our species, but at a stress tolerance of 52, this slow, Low stakes job is one of the least stressful I found. Models. Do you think you have what it takes to be a model? Clothing and accessory organizations need people to demonstrate the attractiveness and the effectiveness of their products. This is a hard industry to break into, but certainly nobody can deny that being photographed is typically a low stress task. Unsurprisingly, it came in at a stress tolerance score of 51. Pump operators. At the lowest stress tolerance score of 49 are pump operators. This is the lowest stress job with the bright outlook tag on the list, which indicates a particularly important and secure job. Pump operators monitor and maintain pumps and manifold systems that transfer materials to and from various vessels and other operations. This means they're typically stationary for long periods of time, resulting in a fairly low stakes environment. Of course, this will also depend on the location and industry a pump operator is in. Larger companies with more complex infrastructures will require a higher amount of responsibility and therefore stress. Something to consider if you're interested in a similar role. So this just about wraps up this video on low stress jobs out there. Was there anyone you think that I forgot to mention or do you have any specific personal stories that you can share? Love hearing from you. Please feel free to comment down below. If you like this video, want to see more like it, feel free to like, subscribe, click that bell. Really means a lot. Feel free to also follow me at Preston underscore Park as I try my best to also post daily. Thanks again and we'll see you on the next one.